presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're training this crazy market. Either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup. I'm filling in for Tom O'Brien today. Well, we got a lot going on. We have Tim Ward. We have Larry on next segment. Let's take a look what we have going on. So, awesome pop ups today. We have the Dow futures up 1.64%, 34,950. We have ES Mini up 2.12%. We have the NQs up 2.23%. The Russell up almost 5% today. We'll talk about the bonds in a second here. We have the gold contract. Gold futures uh, up 1%. We'll take a look a little more, as I was saying. With the dollar coming down, which is really what we're seeing today, right? CPI was good. People are seeing that interest rates may be at their top and they're going to come back down a little bit. Obviously, have the bonds popping up quite a bit on that. We'll take a look at the 10 year in a moment. Taking a look at the gold contracts, we have a volume of about yeah, 100, let's see here, 167,000 which is good, right? But if we're looking at, you know, Tom sent over some charts as well to take a look at here. Um, we're looking at something like 200,000 on the volume, right? So as Tom has written here, this is the Bloomberg charts. Okay, the gold will need more volume as it trades at a higher price, right? We had a little bit of a pullback over the past month um, when it moved a lot higher. Um, but if the dollar continues to go low and reach the um, levels about like 99, uh, dollars, then we could probably see the gold contract take off uh, pretty significantly. Silver at 3.7%. It's fantastic for silver holders as well. And then the copper contract uh, trading up only about 0.45%. Take a look here. Tesla has blown up 6% on some news regarding China. It's massive. And also their supercharging stations, as they're called, the, uh, the supercharger network is now again really solidified as this will be the kind of standard charging model for all EV vehicles. So we had some pretty nice volume on that. Um, let's see, yeah, it's pretty stellar. So we're trading up about 237 right now. Um, obviously the high from last month was about 268, 61. We had a big sell off here on some pretty significant volume, but we're trailing right back up. Tesla is pretty persistent uh, price wise. Take a look at Meta, up 2.32%. Google, up 1.94%. Disney, trading back up in the 90s, which is good for all Disney holders, 1.93%. Southern Copper, up about 5%. The miners are doing all right. Steel Dynamics uh, made some huge moves. Again, we were talking, this is trading in a channel about 100 to 110. Uh, we had that breakdown uh, around this area, September 18th, on uh, significant volume uh, compared to the rest of the trading. Um, we reached as high as 114.18, came back down, and we'll, uh, on, on some lighter volume, honestly, on the, on the back down here. Uh, so I'm going to be watching this stock a little bit more to see if we have kind of a new trend forming uh, with it. But when you can find a stock or in any kind of equity that, you know, trades in such a distinct kind of pattern, it's awesome to get in there and, um, and just ride the wave on that. On top of the rates, kind of you know, supposedly going to be going down, right? CPI was pretty great. We'll take a look at the um, uh, the release later. Uh, kind of uh, kind of pick through essentially the charts and everything that were uh, given to us by the government here. Uh, but the home builders were doing uh, phenomenal as well. So we have MHO up 7.11 today. Uh, DFH, this is Dream Finders Homes Incorporated, up 7.07%. BZH up 9.56%. Taylor Morrison Home up 7.14%. And uh, I think, oh, here we are. 
and then tolls up 8.43%. I mean, that's anyone who's holding the bag in some of these home builders uh, is doing pretty good today. We'll take a look at the SPX. This is in a, an ABC up, right? The, the price projection for this is $462. The B point was the November 10th. It took that out, um, you know, pretty solidly. And so we're looking at essentially a price projection on that with the ABC up of 462. The QQQs as well, let's take a look. It's 58 million taking out 53 here November 10th as well. Um, the A to B leg was passed then, and it's a 402.02 price projection as well. And we are just uh, going to see if we can ride this up. And if we look to in the, let me see if on the NQs, this was pretty interesting because we've been going down for so long, right? If we take a look on the three year chart here, we have the high right at about 16,767, right? I mean, we're nearing this here on the three year high. And then right here, if we look at the high for the year, July 17th, we're trading right about 1684. And we're getting there right now. We're at 15,908 in NQ futures. Um, when I took a look at this chart and saw that's how close you were to the, to the early highs, it was almost crazy to think about because it felt like we'd been going down for so long. Um, but anyways, this is pretty stellar what we have going on. The DXY, take a look, they changed the ticker. They added the dollar sign in front of it on here. Let's get out of the three years. We can just go to the year to date. Obviously, we had a big gap down. That's with conviction for sure. Um, this kind of price floor, essentially, that Tom was looking at, right? That was the 104.69 area. Well, clearly, this just blew past it entirely, right? We're trading at 104.04. This is essentially on the way down to 99.57. This is what we're looking at uh, from Tom again. This is in Market Insights. If you guys aren't subscribed, it is a one month free trial for first time subscribers. Go take a look uh, because the market was called beautifully uh, this time around. And so it's pretty nice to look at. NVIDIA up 2.39% and the GDX up 5% currently. We can take a look at the consumer price index. Let's move over here. See if I can blow this up a little bit. All right, so let's take a look, right? Because a lot of people, you know, we just read, uh, let's say, like articles that kind of tell us um, what happened. And it's always good to kind of go to the original source to kind of get your information. So you can look here. This is the change per month. And so we essentially had zero, right? And this is all items. And we'll take a look at how this kind of averaged out. We had a 0.3% increase in food. Food away from home increased about the same. Energy up 0.4%. So obviously we have gas prices a little bit lower right now. Um, we have energy commodities that actually uh, deflated 2.5% uh, from the last month. Let's see on gasoline down 4.9% and then fuel oil in general down five. Electricity, I'm trying to follow this right here. Electricity up 0.3%, utility 1.2%. Um, and so that's pretty, that's pretty solid for everything. We have medical services going down a little bit. What happened with that that was bringing it up is people were essentially, again, now spending money um, from their health insurers after a long time of not doing so with COVID. And that kind of shakes up a little bit of the numbers uh, that the health insurance reporters uh, kind of have. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Larry Pesavento. Tigers, have you ever wondered what it would be like to trade right alongside Larry Pesavento? We'll wonder no more. Wednesday, November 15th, Larry Pesavento will be hosting a live trading webinar. From 8 a.m. to noon, look over Larry's shoulder as he analyzes potential trades and sets them up. Not only will you get a front row seat to the mind of a veteran trader, but you'll get to interact with Larry live as he plays his trades and goes through key material that has aided him in his profession. Go to the front page of TFNN.com, sign up for the service, and enjoy. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. We take a look over here. This is the Larry Pesavento Trade What You See November 2023 live trading event. So the way this works, folks, if you ever wanted to see, like, just imagine, right? You're sitting right next to Larry. He's placing trades. You're kind of getting an insight, right, into kind of a veteran's look at how this kind of works. And this is what this is, all right? So this is from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. This is tomorrow, November 15th. Starts at 8 a.m. Everyone who subscribes to this webinar, okay, gets one month free of Fibonacci 24-7. It's $2.95. These webinars are all archived in case you can only stay for a little bit of the trade places. You can take a look back afterwards and kind of see what's going on. And we have Larry Pesavento with us currently. Larry, are you there? I'm not sure, Jacob, but I think I am. <laughs> How are you doing, Larry? Ah, good. One of those 18-hour days, but I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. We, we've got volatility that's off the charts, and that's when the patterns work their best. So uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. We're doing a little bit of teaching, but mainly we're going to try to make some money. We had a terrific day today, but, you know, to tomorrow the trading gods could shake their head and put a hood over me. But we'll keep our losses small, do what we're supposed to do, and I'm going to explain to folks why I'm putting the trade on, where I'm putting it on, what I'm looking for in profits, and we're going to go through all of those to try to, you know, teach the folks that, yeah, you can do this if you practice a little bit. And I think we'll have a lot of fun. We've done five of these. They've all done well. But tomorrow I really want to focus uh, on the trading because we've got volatility. Uh, it started last night, and I was up uh, pretty much most of the night uh, trading. I ended up with uh, 10 trades today, which is about three times more than normal, but that was <laughs> over a 14-hour period. But uh we did okay. We had two losses and uh, one break even and a couple of really, really big winners, especially with silver and the uh, soybeans and stuff. Those were those were just off the charts, which was really fun for us. But we've had a lot of fun. Everybody's enjoyed it. You know, it must be good because we, these folks are coming back every time. Almost yeah. all the people coming in and repeat. So I would say uh, they're so. there to make some money, and we do some teaching. But, uh, 
Yeah, we'll tell a few jokes if I can remember them. And, <laughs> but anyway, we'll, we'll, it goes so fast. Four hours is like a blink of the eye, Jacob. You, you've helped me do these, all of them, so you know that it goes quickly, and we've had a, a whole lot of fun. So I, I actually look forward to it. This is really the highlight of my week uh, to do. I was wish it was today because, uh, gee whiz, it was just one of those days where ABCD was all over the place. But that just means that we got other ABCDs out there, so that's what we're hoping to see. That's right. And the volume we have in the market here is just amazing, oh, right? I mean, that just is oh, ripe for active trading. So, yes, yes. What I'll say, too, which, which also really good, you know, you're you get in there, you explain it, you make these trades, you have the charts up and everything, too. And you take a bit of time every now and then to kind of read what folks are asking you as well. Right. So there's an interactive component oh, sure. to yes, the whole webinar. Yes. And, you know, that really is invaluable. Of course, seeing those trades in you know real time is is fantastic and worth its money already. Being able to get in there and kind of ask, uh, yeah. you know, at a more granular level, what's going on, um, I, you know, I think it's perfect. Yeah. So not only that, but you have people in the room that are saying, "Hey, Larry, take a look at the Canadian dollar," and then we look at the Canadian dollar, <sighs> right, and he's even identified that. a perfect ABCD, and you know, we could even trade the Canadian dollar. So we'll probably do a few stock trades or look at some stocks because I know a lot of the folks are in stocks, but we primarily focus on the futures and then also the foreign exchange. Those are the ones which you can trade futures through the CME on that. So it, it's a little bit for everybody, but it shows how pattern recognition works and uh, make a few bucks at it. So you get a free education and uh, make a few dollars. That's what our goal is. Definitely. And I'll say, too, you know, you, you brought up a great point that we have a lot of uh, repeat people coming back, right, because they just enjoy the experience so mm -hmm. much. We have a few new people this time as well. And if this is really your first time coming in, uh, Larry also gives a little bit of an insight, uh, a little presentation uh, during it as well while the trades are live. And I've seen the presentation a few times. It's always a little bit different every time, of course. Um, but I just think it is such stellar information. And uh, if, if you haven't experienced one of these live trading events, you know, I, I really recommend getting in there. You know, you get to place these yeah. trades and see kind of more what Larry does um, on a personal level. It's amazing. So, well, we're going to have some fun, Jacob. With your help, I'll certainly look forward to it. So we'll see you in the morning at 8 o'clock, OK? Sounds good, Larry. Thanks for joining us. All right. You bet. Thank you, Jacob. Take care Hope now. Hope to see you, folks. May God bless. Right on. Yeah, like I said, folks, come over here to TFNN.com. You're going to get to the home page. You'll scroll down, you'll see it right here. This is 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Again, $2.95, get a free month of Fibonacci 24-7, and you get to trade with Larry live and ask him questions. It's pretty fantastic, folks. All right, let's take a look at what we got cooking over on this end here. Oh, this is, the, okay, right. This is what I wanted to find for you guys. Let's just take a look at Apple right now. I don't know if I have it on my hot bar here. I really should, but it's up 1.71% today. Uh, Google's 1.8%, but this isn't really what I want to talk about, right? Okay, what is so fascinating is we're going in over here. This is Apple is getting 36% of Google search revenue. Like, let's just look at the syntax here, okay? Of Google search revenue, and this is just from their Safari. They're gaining 36% of Google search revenue. It is insane. Google pays Apple more than a third of its search advertising revenue from Safari under terms of the two companies' search default agreement. An Alphabet witness said in court on Monday, the 36% figure, which was not previously known to the public, is one of the clearest indications of how lucrative Google's search deal has been for both Apple and the search engine company. The incidental disclosure from Alphabet's expert witness, Kevin Murphy, a professor of economics at the University of Chicago, was not expected. Williams and Connolly antitrust partner visibly cringed when he revealed that number, obviously, because it's pretty intense. The search default agreement is a major focus of the proceedings in general. Uh, the judge in this case has described the Apple-Google deal as the heart of the case. It's a number Wall Street pays attention to as well. Bernstein analysts have estimated uh, in a note to clients that Apple would see $19 billion in 2023 revenue as a result of search engine default deal with Google, which is fantastic. Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai defended such deals when he testified in the proceedings, but Google's competitors have described the arrangements as damaging to their business. Microsoft CEO, for example, pushed back in, when he detailed this in, uh, in October when he was testifying. Anyways, I think that's really uh, pretty interesting. We can take a look at some other big news today. Let's take a look at Snap. This is a company that I have trashed pretty consistently, but... Um, they had some interesting developments. It's up 6.5% today. 
essentially what happened is they've done it they've made a deal with Amazon okay and Amazon is gonna allow snapchat users to buy Amazon products without changing apps so snap is now going to be essentially a, a dock for Amazon products which is pretty uh, interesting uh, snap rose 8% on Tuesday after the company confirmed a deal with Amazon to let users buy products from online retailer without leaving the app. The agreement follows a similar deal between Meta and Amazon is designed to make purchasing easier for Snap users and really Snap needs something like this. It's going to draw more people to its platform which it has a hard time retaining and uh, its ad revenue obviously will go up because it has more users. Folks stay tuned we'll be right back. We have Tim Ord. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filming for Tom O'Brien. While we do have Tim Ord coming on, first we have the one and only Basil Chapman. Guys, take a look on TFNN website once you're done looking at Larry's webinar come over here and you can check out the opening call newsletter by Basil again that is a one month money back guarantee if for whatever reason you don't like the newsletter I can't imagine uh, that you would dislike it but you know try it out Basil are you with us hi Jacob how are you I'm doing well how are you doing Basil I'm doing well you got a busy afternoon we got yeah. a lot going on here at TFNN <laughs> so but I'm glad we got you on the show so I always enjoy having you on Good. so so what are we looking yeah. at today Basil we got a lot of so, stuff going on 
Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Let me just tell you that this little break in the Dow, this little break, this big break in the Dow to the upside uh, on a weekly basis. This is the first time we've actually broken channel resist uh, or trend line resistance. Uh, this is the second week. I like to see two weeks of a break, and so far this is really strong action. It's helping the monthly chart, and in terms of the daily chart, this is only a leg B, and the stochastic, I like to see a stochastic strong and flat at 93%. That's really positive. And uh, the MACD is very strong. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, what I was looking at is um, the Monday action after that Friday low late October said to me that if the, uh, the VIX index really skyrocketed over the weekend, that Sunday night into Monday, we would get a, a really serious major uh, low. But in fact, what happened was Sunday evening and going into Monday, the market turned around. So the low was on the Friday. But in assessing the action on that Monday, my uh, my sense was that there were so many stocks that seemed to participate in that uh, two day rally from the from the Friday low into the uh, into the Monday afternoon. I liked what I saw and I thought this is an ideal opportunity for subscribers to get into a stock that we've been looking at for ages. We missed uh, one of the moves and it just kept going up, going up, went to an all time high and then started to pull back. And I thought this is a perfect time um, because we were looking at Microsoft because it's in the Dow, it's in the S&P, it's in the NASDAQ 100. Very important component and a very important part of the XLK, which is the S&P select tech sector. So we're very fortunate we got in at 338 and today it uh, hit 371. Um, and one of the reasons why I was very pleased with the action is you can see in this daily chart, you see just on a very big picture, if you kind of half close your eyes, you see it's like a, a U-shaped pattern going to another U, which makes a very large cup formation. And what I like to do is I like to choose a particular candle if it isn't the obvious low where the number of bars from the left side high to the left to the bottom and then back to the right side high um, is equal. Then I have to find a particular place. And I chose this little peak D in which I've made the fourth highest peak is often where you want to go. That's where you, where you can see a turnaround. And there was a perfect plus sign. Looks like it's a doji candle. Looks like a plus sign right there. And I chose that as the midpoint. And that was the midpoint on the on the 14th of September from the 18th of July, 366.78 high. So my analysis took it with the different techniques that I used. That if I was correct from the um, from the low that was being made uh, late late uh, October, um, there was a chance that we could have an inside wedge target resistance line taking it to exactly on the. Uh, 10th of November, back to the 366.78 high. And yeah, we were down at 330. It didn't look like much, but I love the fact that the MACD, the moving average, was rallying. The nine period was over the 14 period. So we were fortunate enough to get along. And it went to the exact day. The price, the left side, right side price time match was to the exact day. And on that, on this past Friday, it went just about 366.78 today. It's making a high of uh, 371.95. Now, what's interesting, using all these different techniques, you can see you can see the cup formation much better here in the weekly chart. So we've kind of achieved what we wanted. And now the assessment is, is there an alternate count? Is this going to go higher? But you can see this rising inside track, these two green, the green and pink line, I call them inside track repellent zone. That's that was our target. So we've just hit that target. If we if in November, uh, Microsoft is able to get into the 377, 380 area, that'll be absolutely spectacular action. So it's achieved everything that we wanted. But as I say, we wanted to use this as a proxy for the general market. And what's really interesting is as this is rallying, um, you're finally seeing some of the the real laggards, the ones that just went nowhere. I mean, I'm including the Disney, the Shopify, all these stocks that just got slammed over the last couple of years, starting to move. And I think that that is very important. So together with the IWM, the Russell 2000, started to really break to the upside. It wasn't looking very good just 
this morning, in fact, and now it's starting to improve a lot. So if we can start to see a rotation that says the uh, the leaders, the Magnificent Seven, of which Microsoft is one of the leaders, if they can slow down, you can start to see the others take up the slack. So I like you had mentioned um, SDLD. Uh, um, I always I always remember the, the name and I forget uh, the symbol uh, that's Steel Dynamics. But if you look at the SLX, which is the um, the SLX is the Van Eck Vector Steel ETF, mm. all of a sudden they've come alive. If you look at right. PAVE, PAVE, which is um, this is the Global X US Infrastructure Development and Development ETF, uh. just came alive. So I think that this this is really important. Plus you've got the dollar pulling back very strongly and bonds are uh, starting to rally so that yields are coming down. There are a lot of things that are looking pretty good. They weren't looking so good even even a few days ago. I like, I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even, you know, I was talking earlier in the show, too, uh, some of these housing stocks. You know, Toll Brothers is blown up today. Uh, among a few others, and um, I think with the interest rates hey, coming wait, wait. down, we should. The terminology, I think, is more rocketing. Yeah, absolutely. No, <laughs> yeah. no kidding. I mean, we're up like eight percent, and like on average, between like the, I think five stocks are looking up today. It, it's insane. So yeah, this market in general is just completely coming alive, and um, it's kind of awesome to see, you know, because things have been a little laggard for a while, right? It, it, well, what's awesome to see is that it's broadening out because they right. have these selective moves where you've got just a handful of stocks um, in in a particular sector moving up. That's at least you're in it. It's really unfortunate in this, but you know, talking about uh, sectors, we've been in the uranium sector. Who would have thought that uranium uh -huh. is doing so well? So we've got UBC, which is Uranium Energy Core. We got it at about three dollars and sixty-four cents. <laughs> Here it is at six oh eight, making a new recovery high. I mean, so it's really spreading out. I like I like this market very much. No, and you're one hundred percent right. That was one of the the things that worried me about the market, right? Because as you brought up the Magnificent Seven, yeah, like that was what was really dragging this market up at any kind of given point, the, you know, the past year or whatever. And seeing it spread out is uh, is good for the market, I feel like, right, overall. It so. is, and you know, I like to look at different uh, time frames. If you're looking at it like the one minute here, the one minute in the E-mini has just pulled back, the, and yet, the five minute is still holding the nine period moving average as is the 10. And that's exactly what we've been seeing in the market, that if you can choose a particular indicator that keeps you in a position, I think that's, that's really good. Basil, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure having you on. Thank you very much, Jake. I appreciate it. Take care now. Folks, stay tuned. Thank we'll you. be right back. Tigers, have you ever wondered what it would be like to trade right alongside Larry Pesavento? We'll wonder no more. Wednesday, November 15th, Larry Pesavento will be hosting a live trading webinar. From 8 a.m. to noon, look over Larry's shoulder as he analyzes potential trades and sets them up. Not only okay, will you awesome, get a front row Tim. seat to the mind of a veteran trader, but you'll get to interact with Larry live as yeah, he places trades and goes through key material that has aided him in his profession. Go to the front page of TFNN.com, sign up for the service, and enjoy. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup with you today. Look at the dollar right now. We are trading right below the 104 level. We are at 103.99. We're fluctuating between 99 and 98. Folks, let's shift gears here a little bit. I want to bring you over here. We have the Ord-Oracle.com. This is Tim Ord. He's been coming on uh, with Tom for a while now. He just had a webinar earlier this month. It was uh, fantastic, folks. If you, if you didn't see that, um, we have all of our archives webinar. <laughs> we have all of our webinars archived. We also archive the webinars. Um, but come over, check out the front page of TFNN.com. That's there as well. Um, it was a fantastic webinar, and uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. Tim Ord, are you with us? Yeah, I'm right here. How you so, doing? Good. Um, Send some charts over. Do we have a time to go over them? We do. We, we absolutely do. Um, I'm on chart one right now. We have the uh, equity put call ratio. Yeah, this this is um, I did this today, and and so this is actually yesterday's close, but uh, the bottom one is the twenty one day average, so that's a whole month of average of equity put call ratio readings, and you get above point uh, seven five at yesterday's close or point seven seven, so that was a whole month of equity put call ratio readings. In other words, they just leaned on the puts for the last month. And so uh, that's bullish, and then one above that is a five-day, and anything above 0 0.8 is 0 0.92 is bullish. So, uh, you know, and the market's been screaming here for the last week, couple of weeks, and it's virtually straight up here. And everybody's still leaning on the put side, <laughs> and you, and that's that's a good old going forward. Uh, normally when they start getting on the call side, you know, danger can happen, but right. we're not we're not seeing that here. Uh, so, uh, people for some reason, uh, and this is real money trading. This is not like, well, if I had to be in the market, say I'd be bullish or bearish. These are people actually playing the market, and they're leaning on the bearish side. So, sentiment wise, this is extremely bullish. Sure. So, um, we can go to chart two real quick. Perfect. Um. This is kind of an indicator I uh, showed at my uh, webinar. Uh, the top window is the uh, SPY to VIX ratio. And uh, uh, in the middle window, or the second window down from the top, is, is the VIX. And what's really strange today is the market's up uh, you know, over 2% as we're talking here. And normally, if the market goes up and the VIX makes a new low, which it is, that's usually a bullish sign. And mm -hmm. so... Uh, the ratio on the top there, it, the only reason why I put it over the SPX, VIX over the S, SPY, rather, because uh, it, it goes in the same direction as the SP. The SPs are going up. This ratio is going up. If it does, then everything is copacetic, I guess you might say. Everything is aligning. But uh, according to the VIX uh, right now, uh, making lower lows or this ratio SPY VIX making higher highs with the SPs making higher. There's no div negative divergence on a short-term basis. So, uh, you know, a lot of people think, well, this is a gap and crap, they call it. And I don't see it. Uh, I think in general, uh, I thought this week might kind of be a sideways week because we had such a great week last week. But um, right. on a short-term basis here, I'm not seeing anything dangerous. Um, um, so... How high is high? I don't know, but go to chart 
uh, four. Okay. We're going to skip three. We got four there. And uh, in my webinars, I always talk about panic. Uh, to get a bottom, you have to have panic. If you got no panic, you have no bottom. And so, and what's, what's really interesting here, if we go to the far right corner, the bottom window is a 10 day average of the trend. Mm. And yesterday it closed at 1.19. Anything around 1.2 and higher shows panic in the market. In other words, there's more stocks, uh, high volume on uh, stocks are going down. And that's usually a, uh, you would think would be a bearish sign, but it's actually bullish. And that's what we have here. Even though the market's gone straight up, all those tan areas are times when the trend was hitting 1.2 or higher. And they all come near lows. Uh, that's how I picked out that low over in the 2000, 2022 and 2023. You had a lot of that panic in that uh, 365 to 390 on the SPYs. And I suggest we're going to break out to the upside. We did. And we had some panic back in early October, put in a minor low. And we didn't really have panic at the um, October 27th low, which is really ironic. But since the market's gone up, now we do have panic. Uh, so, uh, sentiment wise, there's everybody's leaning bearish. Uh, panic wise, everybody's uh, uh, still panicking here. Right. Uh, so, I, I'm thinking we, we could be breaking out uh, in a big way to the upside. And so, what could that lead to? Let's go to chart five. Yeah. Okay, now this is a big wow. time frame. This is the monthly SPX. And what I'm thinking here is developing is a head and shoulders bottom where the head was uh, October of 2022 low. Left shoulder was early 2022. And we've been screwing around uh, since July until October here. Uh, in my opinion, we're probably making a head and shoulder or the right shoulder of a head and shoulders bottom. Uh, it pretty much did what it's supposed to do. We got the neckline around 4,600, uh, which is noted on the chart there with that yep. dotted line. And uh, to get through that neckline, you need what they call it. It's a sign of strength. Uh, in other words, that's usually big volume and big price movement. And that may be developing here as we're putting on, because uh, sentiment-wise, I'm not seeing anything really bearish. Uh, we do have panic in the market. Uh, can we just bust through the 4,600? Uh, if we do with a sign of strength, that usually confirms once you have a sign of strength through the neckline, that really confirms the head and shoulders bottom. And uh, I got a scenario there. That if this is a head and shoulders bottom, it gives an upside target around 5,700 right. on the SP, SPYs. Well, that's about 26% higher than where we are. And I don't know why everybody's leaning bearish here, but uh, the stuff I'm looking at, uh, even on the short term and even on the bigger time frame so far, uh, lean bullish. You know, that may change in the coming weeks. But even on a short-term basis here, I'm not seeing any danger. So, um, and next year is election year. Right. And that's usually, that's usually in an up year. So uh, we, we may see uh, another 20, you know, we're, we're, we're knocking at the, uh, this year. So I think we'll reach 20% this year as far as return, and we may, may uh, reach another 20% next year. So uh, it looks good to me. Absolutely, uh, yeah. And I put these charts in the den as well for anyone who wants to look. I mean, this is these are all really, really insightful charts. No kidding. Yeah. So it's it's just kind of an interesting time, you know. It, um, you know, we got bullish back on September twenty uh, seventh, which is basically the day of the low, mm -hmm. and the market it just doesn't. It's really good. Normally, when the market doesn't let anybody in. Uh, it usually goes a lot further than what people would anticipate. But the, the VIX, the ticks, matter of fact, as we're, as we're talking here, the market's up 2%, and we got a one point, uh, looks like about 1.2 on the trend. Uh, so, you know, to me, that's going to put the 10 day trend somewhere around 1.22. So that's quite a bit of energy to push that market higher. Definitely. And Tim, listen, we have a we have a short segment after this, but stay with us. I want to go through, uh, I think it was chart two or chart three that we didn't right. go over. So, uh, folks, uh, we'll be right back with Tim Ord. That is Tim Ord of the Ord-Oracle.com. Sit tight. We'll be right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. We are with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Tim, are you with us still? Yep, I'm right here. Awesome. We're looking at still. chart three. I think that's the one we jumped over. All right, yeah, chart three, um, it's kind of like, uh, I didn't know we had enough time to get to it, but anyhow, uh, the bottom window is the VIX, and this chart goes back, looks like a couple of years. And normally when the VIX is below 17, we're coming in when I made this chart, I made a chart today, it's 1409. A lot of times when the VIX is below 17, the market is in the trending mode. And uh, so I shaded that, all that area, uh, when it's below 17, and and so, you know, going into that 2022 high, most of that time, the VIX was below 17, and uh, that rally that started in, in uh, I don't know, May, June of last, or this year, it got below uh, 17, kind of stayed there, and now we're back below it again. So it's a good chance uh, we could be in a trending market, Um you can kind of see that head and shoulders pattern there. Right. If you look over uh, to the early 2022, you see I drew a blue line and, and a red dotted line there. Uh, so, you know, this would make sense. You know, the right shoulder is about equal to the left shoulder and all this other stuff. So it looks pretty good. And we're actually having a sign of strength uh, right before we're hitting the uh, neckline. Neckline, again, is around 4,600 4, on the SPX. But I wanted to point out, uh, yesterday, 
on the SP, SPX, we're testing the previous high of uh, October. And now we jumped above it. I wanted to point out, if you look at the VVIX to VIX ratio, uh, it was making higher highs when we were testing the previous highs on the S&Ps. And that would suggest that we're going to break through the previous highs of we had in mid-October. And sure enough, we did. We broke out today. So that's one I wanted to point out there. So, Fantastic. Uh, Tim, thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, you'll be on Thursday. Always great having you on. Thank you. Folks, that was Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Again, that is ord-oracle.com. Go check him out. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we'll see if Tom is back tomorrow. Uh, again, Larry's webinar tomorrow at 8 a.m. to noon Eastern time. Sign up for it. Folks, have a great rest of your day.